Yo, I'm Rusty. I haven't made a video in like six days. <clears throat> Hello, Tech Theater, and welcome to my video about set design, or about uh, kind of the basics. Uh, so I'm going to cut in here real quick just to say to make sure that you guys have two different designs, uh, a front facing and a bird's eye view. Cool. Thanks. Bye. So first, I want to talk about research. So I've given you seven different categories of which you're going to research and pick one of those. Uh, now I don't want you, if you are picking just a classroom, I don't want you just to type in classroom. I want you to look at the very specific era of the classroom because classrooms from 1900 to now have changed. I mean, I'm teaching into a webcam for goodness sakes. Uh, so <clears throat> do your research. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about, or I want to point out to you, uh, is balance. Uh, now, when I designed my set, which you'll see in a little bit, uh, I made sure to have equal amount of things on either side. If you overload things on one side or the other, the audience is just going to stare at that side, regardless if there's any humans over there or not. You need to make sure that you have balance. So make sure there's an equal number of things on each side. Either object. Um, in my case, I designed a backyard, which you will see here and here. And if you look at, I'll put it back up again here, uh, that the there's several different acting zones in this space. Uh, top, if you look at upstage left, uh, you'll see the grill. Um, you can have an, an acting zone where you have the cook of the grill and someone standing next to the grill or standing on the opposite side of the grill. Uh, you've got the table, that's a big acting zone. Um, by either of the doors can be an acting zone uh, where you can conceivably have a conversation or you can have people separated. Um, on stage, there's not that much space. Uh, there's, you know, 20, 30 feet. Um, so the, the point of these acting zones is so that you can have these separate little scenes all happening in one space. Um, again, back to my uh, back to my set. Uh, if you look, uh, there's I've got a tree and a bench and an umbrella and a chair and a bird bath kind of gathered around there. Um, all all of those are different acting zones. Uh, and the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is realism versus drama. Now, what do I mean by that? Realism is if you're going to set a show in a backyard, um, you're going to have fences that are pretty square. Uh, it's going to be just a gigantic rectangle back there. Um, but this doesn't exactly work for stage, because anyone sitting not in the center is going to be cut off by the fence. So, as you are designing your set, as you're looking through, you need to break some rules of reality to put it on stage. Uh, if you notice, and this is typical of pretty much all sets, uh, the edges are curved. They are not stationary. So instead of looking like this, you know, things are opening up. They're cheating out like that. Um, yeah, so make sure that you are make, uh, cheating things out, that you are opening things up. Um, if you notice in my design, uh, there's only one chair um, that's facing the audience. All the other chairs are facing towards the audience uh, so that the person sitting in that chair can be seen. Um, or the most people can be seen. Yeah. Uh, so that is my little set. Uh, feel free to pause for the examples. Uh, I'll post the my examples in a Google Drive and I'll put that down in the comments. If you have any questions, please email me, uh, and I look forward to seeing your sets. Cool. See you next week.